All right, video showing off Vision OS 2.2 beta um, from Bora Bora, one of the um, coolest environments. Uh, definitely um, has some awesome detail. In fact, you can see the trees kind of swaying on the hill over there. But this video is all about Vision OS 2.2 beta and bringing us the ultra wide monitor um, support that we saw in some of the early advertisements of the Apple Vision Pro. Um, we've always been able to mirror our display. This is coming from my MacBook and we've always been able to display it, but it's been in kind of this very flat screen. Um, I would say this is about a 43 inch screen and I can make it larger. I can make it larger. It's very clear, very clear. Um, and very crisp but there's there hasn't been no curvature to it and we know that the larger screens you know the curved monitors help with eye strain um, especially when you're looking at information on those far corners i do about 95 percent of my work inside using the vision pro headset so i was excited about this feature and it's finally here um, so if we go ahead and click on the new monitor options first we'll go to wide and before we go any further, let's go ahead and see what that original image looked like. Um, this was part of the launch um, commercial. We see this immersive screen. This is what the ultra wide support that is now av available for us. Um, so this screen wide now, it's starting to get a little bit of curvature. Um, and we could click one more time and go to full ultra wide. Now with OS 2.2 beta, we have this fully immersive and curved screen. We can make it larger if we want to. Um, the wallpaper might look a little bit blurry to the uh, viewers, but to me, the text and the icons are super clear. Uh, look at the real estate I have. I mean, this is uh, amazing. This is beyond three 43 inch monitors um, on, on my desk right now. So let's go ahead and open up Safari and we'll leave Safari kind of in this corner of the display. I think we can snap it into different corners. And for this example, let's just head over to the Apple website and we might see this actual um, feature in this um, advertisement. On the left hand side, let's say I wanted to open up my music. Now, remember, this is all being uh, mirrored from my MacBook Pro. These are not um, Vision OS apps. This is being mirrored from my um, MacBook Pro. And then finally, let's try to open up another Safari window. So let's go to Safari and do a new window. And let's grab this new window and put it in the lower left corner. Let's see the lower side right there. And then for this one, let's just go ahead and open up the Weather Channel. So this is a quick demonstration of having a very fluid um, Safari experience on one side, having my music, and then having the Weather Channel all mirrored from my MacBook Pro. Now, like that image we saw of the truly immersive experience, let's go ahead and lift this up a little bit, and then let's go ahead and make this screen even larger. Um, and I can't even tell you how big these monitors would be. I mean, 100 inches, 85 inches, 100 inches. This is awesome. This is larger than my wall and definitely larger than my room. And you could see just how um, fluid it is. Um, and like I said, for productivity, this is awesome. Whether I'm sitting at my desk or if I'm standing at my desk, I could have these monitors with me. Remember, these are just mirrored from my MacBook Pro. So I still have the power of the Vision um, headset and all the apps. Let's say I want to open up Reddit. Now, this is a um, Vision OS app, right? Running separately on its own. So in front of me, I have the mirrored screen from my MacBook Pro. And then behind me, I have my Reddit. I might have Outlook. I might have Microsoft Teams, but I can have some um, Vision OS specific apps there. Um, the hype is real. We've been waiting for this feature and um, productivity. Man, just immersiveness. The hype is real, you guys. Have a good night.